And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Production Line. All right, I've kind of just been sitting here letting research get through. I've got factory expansion done. And I'd like, um, I've also researched the research centers. So these guys over here uh, produce 0 0.83, 0 0.83 points per hour these guys produce a little over two points so these guys are good for almost three of the other ones and they take up less space so but they're not cheap to put down that's for sure um, and they don't really fit together very well uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause it uh, we're gonna go sorry folks I need to I need to hammer this research out much faster. So we're going to try. There. We were producing 14 points. Uh, now we are producing 17 points. Good times. Hey, look at that. The space bar actually pauses it. Excellent. All right. I've also researched the ex factory expansion process. And when what just finished was the ability to put down design studios. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab this. Um, hourly cost, 5,700. Yeah. Let's do this. We're going to go into facilities design studio and we're going to we're going to drop down a couple of these guys. We're going to go over here. I want to research compact body. And then I want to research SUV after that. Uh, design studio Design points generated four. I should be getting more design points than that. Points per minute four. I wonder if this one is also going. Let's let it sit for a second. It's telling me I need to produce more cars in the mid-range, but these things have literally been sitting in here the whole time. We're not selling them very fast. Okay, so you, 1,300 points, 224. Leave it go for a few more minutes. Going back in, 1,400, so that's definitely doing it. This is still, if I get rid of this studio. Now we're at two points per minute. So that is obviously off. Because <clears throat> this says design points generated four. So that's, that's wrong. Oh, those, those blocks aren't cheap. Jeez, those things aren't cheap. Okay, we need to... Uh, Change the schedule a little bit. I've got two Auroras. Let's do a three to one ratio. And cross our fingers. Now if we look at our models, I have tweaked these a little bit. Um, I put in-car music in uh, both models. And as you can see, our mid-range uh, doesn't have sunroof. So many companies now have research that that it's a common feature on on mid-range cars so i have to i have to supply it the other thing that i have um and i'm hoping i'm hoping i have enough capital i may need to i may need to redo that oh my god stop doing that why are you sticking um one thing that I also researched the reason why I stopped the facility or stopped the whole thing 
were defects. Cars and defects uh, was killing my perceived quality. It was killing. I got down to like 60%, and it was killing my quality. So I need... Uh, not export, it's quality check, right? Rework. I'm going to need a whole lot of reworking. So, rework. It says it's a minute. I don't know how much I believe that. Yeah, see the tasks? <clears throat> the tasks are individual. So let me put a couple of these down. How much are these? 25 grand. Of course that comes up. Um, faster drying. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay, so any defects? Will get fixed. Oh, come on. In this process. Now, what happens when they don't have defects? I don't know. I don't know how to I don't know how to separate the two. 120 power demand. That's pretty impressive. All right, our first car is coming up and over. Because we are out of cars in our showroom, so that's a problem. Hopefully, even cars without defects can get pumped through here, and they'll just, they'll just keep going. That's my hope right now. Uh, what are we researching? Compact body. Oh no, faster resource imports. Uh, faster conveyor is what we're on now. So I'm trying to I'm trying to you know push a lot more material in. So how's that compact body doing? All right, this one should be an Aurora. This one should be, oh, that's an M. Hmm. That's another M. It should be producing three Auroras for every one mid-range. That's kind of the balance I have right now. Let's just double check that. Yes. Now I'm hopeful that this thing can get all the way through without putting me in the hole. So if I remember right, the, the millisecond you go negative, the game is over, which is weird, but um, what am I researching? Faster conveyor. Okay, that's fine. Faster overhead conveyors. And then sunroof is the thing that's ubiquitous, very common on uh, mid-range. And so I want to make sure there's faster conveyors. That's these guys down here. Seats are fine. I've got I've got the ability to make brakes, wheels, and tires. I just don't have the capital really to to go hog wild on that. Looks like Carmano's ORM is too cheap. Oh, you don't say. Well, I can certainly 
I can certainly compensate for that. All right. I'm keeping an, ooh. It looks like the competition of research or technology has become universal. What is it? Leather interior. Universal. Universal. Which means any luxury model that I make has to have that. Basically what that means. If it doesn't have it, people are going to expect a discount. So what are the uh, make uh, engine? No, I don't want that in my hotbar. So make brakes is a L-shaped, and that is roughly five and a half minutes. And it makes two brakes. Faster overhead conveyors. Oh. Output brake two. Now, I'm curious. I didn't notice that before. Aha! That is why I overdid my seats. That makes two seats at a time. So yeah, I don't need all, I need to cut these in half because it makes two at a time. I did not know that. So let's watch this when this gets done. It's got four slots. Now it's got six. There it is, yeah, it gets two. So, we would basically be able to cut this in half or double our output. It's always an option of bringing this conveyor over and doing a whole other line right here. What upgrades do we... Oh, no, no upgrades here. Car stereo. This is electrical components. In-car music. Got that going. It's just fine. Um, let's see if any of these get defects. Sunroof. Research complete. So, I would like... Boink. Oh yeah, I need to go over to the roof. Uh, here. Upgrades. Buy. Go to here. Cars. Aurora. Roof. Sunroof. Okay, so now... It's a common feature. Now, all of my... All of my mid-range are going to have sunroofs. So yay. How are you guys doing on your on your detection of of defects here? Aha, see? This guy's got defects. So, how does this thing working? 5 minutes. Defects fix chance, 80%. Upgrades. So we can make that 90%. Um, at best. But that should help our quality. Perceived quality. We fix as many defects as we possibly can our perceived quality is going to go up. 
Uh, well, how how are we researching? Compact body is getting close. Uh, maintenance department is getting there. Now that we're spitting cars out, we're actually getting a little money. We got down to the the bare bones of uh, operating operating capital there. Uh, we better start selling a few more cars. Um, obviously, if we go to stockroom discounts, car lacks universal features. Let's give them a 5% discount. Because if we look at the showroom, well, all, all Aurora's, huh? This is a what? I don't know what that was. Let's look at the showroom. How are these all Auroras? Where are my M's? Where are my mid-range guys? There's an M. Nope, wrong click. Perceived, why is my perceived quality going down? Oh, this guy's got defects. Fit radiator. Two minutes. So yeah, the time that they sit here varies depending on what it does. What it has to fix. By reaching the design studios, you can... Oh, look at that. I actually am doing that. Good, good advice, sir. I'm close to being able to produce other body styles. So these can't be upgraded. The only ones we have to have QA specialization. That is going to take a hot minute to finish that. Look at how many points that is. Yowza. Um, but the compact body is almost done. How's my showroom doing? Oh, this one. Uninstalled features. Yeah, that's. It's an Aurora M that doesn't have. Yeah, there's another one. Doesn't have a sunroof. Which, you know. It's, there's going to be a few cars that are going to be like that. But there's our first... Oh, stop with that mouse. Um, there's our first one with a sunroof right there, I think. Now if we go over to our roof section... Here? Yes. You can see that it actually has sunroof right here so it has to import other things now what are you telling me boy this guy doesn't leave me alone we need other things for the markers and mid-range that's all we have in our showroom though dude there's a discount that's one discounted actually those are selling pretty good People are scooping up the discounted cars. I would like to start getting into manufacturing some of the brakes, wheels, and tires. Um, we'll look at all the cars. Yeah, I'm going to need another line going down here. New body style researched. Oh, yeah. Reaching a new bio style will create a new design that you can edit on the design screen. But that does not mean any of these designs will be produced unless you schedule production for them. Um, 
All right, we're going to close that. Current research maintenance department. That should finish soon as well. SUB body is going. So one thing we want to do, going to the here, uh, we're going to do a compact. Comp no, we're not going to call it a compact. We're going to call it a... Um, we're going to call it the uh, red box. That's what we're going to call that. Uh, we're going to set that budget to like 18,000. Uh, we're going to give it cruise control. We are going to give it... Come on, can we scroll? We can't scroll. We can scroll now. Yay. We're going to give it music. A heater. Um, solid roof is fine. Okay. Now we want to create a similar model. We're going to call this the bread box M keeping with the design style here. This is the mid range version. We're going to bump this guy up to here. Uh, what is this little error? Oh yeah. Sunroof and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, you're going to get air conditioning an alarm, central locking, electric windows, you're going to get power steering. And how about that? You're going to get a sunroof, too. And, yeah, well, cruise control. It's, it's hard to read that. These other ones have green check marks. This one doesn't because it has a folder thing, and you have to open it up. Be nice if cruise control had a little check mark by it. Um, no leather interior. So we're gonna actually boost this up a little bit more. It's a compact, but you know, if you don't want a sedan and you want a compact, that's fine. Uh, do we want? No, let's let's take the car alarm away, and then we can dial that price down a little bit. Okay, so bread box and bread box M. Uh, I'm going to pause it. Now, uh, let's see. As far as market goes, we have the option of doing these. Now, look at that. We can produce, let's do one Aurora. Um, two, let's do, let's do two, two, one and one. How about that? How does that sound? Let's change schedule. We're going to do the bread box, add new entry. We're going to do bread box M, add new entry. So we're going to do two, two, one and one. Does that sound, does that sound decent hourly production so you can see what your hourly production is already we're already exceeding just with this we're we're exceeding how many customers per hour we're getting but hopefully with marketing we we can we can tweak that a little bit um, and maybe once SUVs come in we'll lower that even more this window needs to be bigger or stretchable. This definitely needs to be bigger. This is this is not tall enough. Three entries. I'm going to have so many cars in here. It's going to be crazy. But anyway, these are the numbers that are important. 8.59 production per hour. Um, and you can compare that with how many customers per hour you get. Okay, let's uh, continue to play. 
you can see all of these. Where am I? Where is my? Yeah, see, this is my bottleneck right here. I really. Can I get some extra robots up in here? Maybe speed that up a bit. So that's ten percent, seven and a half, five. So it's diminishing returns. All right, let's see. Uh, I, I really want to see what these other car models look like. I haven't seen these before. Look how fast that backed up, though. That's crazy. And we are selling cars like crazy. Look at that. Only two left in here. Um, how is our perceived quality? Looks like that's going back up again. I wonder, I wonder if we sold... Maybe we couldn't fix a defect or something? Ah, yes, there's one. Why were you not able to... F Why were you not able to work? I really need to get this. We're getting a lot of cars getting some defects here, and I'm not liking it at all. I don't like it. All right. So yeah, this one has defects. That's going to hurt this perceived quality. Discounts. There's a maintenance department. Or how much that's going to cost me. This is a huge building. Like this section right here is like just about as big as my main factory. That's gonna be it's gonna be glorious. What what are we talking about now? Customers to your showroom, brand awareness. Uh, what are we working on now? Advanced fault diagnostics, that's good. Uh, marketing is way down that list. Then we get into performance and so we get, you know, more speed features. But that Q&A specialization should be good. But getting this, default, advanced fault diagnostics, that is important because they have defects. <clears throat> Those need to be fixed. Got some people sleeping on the job over here. Fit, fit horn is that's where we're hurting. Uh, yeah, as far as our money goes, I mean we're slowly kind of coming back out of the out of the depths here, but you can see our operating profit is <laughs> seven hundred eighteen dollars. <laughs> so not making not making a whole lot but we just entered the compact car market do we have any yet coming through here like it would be nice to see do these have upgrades high pressure paint nozzles that would help keep the cars afloat I wanted to leave space for you know, a secondary a secondary amount of lines coming through here. So that's why I sort of tried to space all this stuff out. Like a second one coming down here. And then, a, you know, maybe, maybe having the paint, maybe having this come up and having a huge painting area in here. Where, where's my compact cars? I wanted to show off the new models. Or, or do we have any coming in yet? There's some are. There's there's one right there. There were a lot of cars waiting to get processed. Whew. All right, we're uh, thirty percent of the way to SUV. 
But that's going to have to do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.